Hey, Gizmo here. Welcome to my next adventure. Uh, Woohoo! Hi everyone, welcome to my next adventure. Um, just tried my good camera, it's not working. So it um, might be all this camera footage is on this camera. Um, I'll get up here on the shore and set up my phone as a camera and see how that goes. But um, yeah, I'm at Salford Waters. Um, I'm about to paddle, paddle around to uh, Redland Bay. Now Salford Waters is in Victoria Point. I'm just about to head all the way around to Redland Bay to kayak ramp and uh, yeah, spend the afternoon kayaking in a perfect, perfect day. So, let's get on with this adventure. Hi, Gizmo here. Alright, well, turns out there was nothing wrong with the camera. I just couldn't see the lens with these glasses on. I left my good glasses at home <laughs> and um, I turned the camera on, I couldn't see the face of it and it looked all blank. What's going on? But uh, yeah, this, these glasses block out the screen altogether. Um, so like I said before, I'm heading around to um, Redland Bay at the kayak ramp. I'm going to spend the afternoon just paddling up there. Well, not really paddling. Hopefully I'll get the uh, trolling motor going. So let's get that out and see if that works. battery on charge yesterday and uh, yeah so it's not hundred percent charged so fingers crossed I'll get all the way without having to paddle but I might have to paddle the last few yards depending on how long I mean it should make it there all right but um, we'll see so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head across to the golf course and um, yeah I'll stop there and I'll have a bite to eat but what a magical day Ooh, just a big fish just jumped out. It's 
what I did with this trolling motor, I had it on a tilt system where I could tilt it up and out of the way. The only problem with that, it was all wobbly. Um, so I've just stuck it on a solid board now and um, it's a lot more solid. I could almost let go of the handle and it just goes on its own. So yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a lot better with a solid mount. So yeah, that behind me there, that's um, Southford Waters uh, Beach in the Southford Waters Park. It's a nice little spot to get to. This area is pretty much only accessible during high tide. Low tide's a bit of a no-no, you can't get out. You'd have to come all the way out about this far. Um, I think I'll just spin around. You can see these little posts in the water. Yeah, that's where the tide comes out to. So all the way out to there, that's where the water starts from at low tide. Now I also did a um, video paddling up Mugurapum Creek, which is just in front of us just there. Um, I'll just circle around, you can see the entrance to Mugurapum Creek just up there. So I'll just spin around there so you can see that. Just up there, that's the entrance to Mugurapum Creek, and you can follow the link to the video just here, or just here, wherever it is. But I'll swing back around and we'll head back to where I'm supposed to be going, which is across the other side of the golf course just there. One thing that I thought might be good with the um, motor that's fixed now in a sort of position is I can actually paddle as well as the motor. Yeah, that's, um, I can go twice as fast now because I can paddle and motor at the same time because the motor used to just wander all over the place. I had to really control it. But um, now, yeah, I can make, make double time paddle and, and motor. Yeah, that's good. I wasn't expecting that. I'm getting close to the shore now. I'll stop and have a little bite to eat. That didn't take long getting across here at all, motoring with the motor. There's two Australian darters sitting on that uh, catamaran. They're a little bit different than a cormorant. They're not actually related. Uh, a lot of people call them a snake bird. That's another name for them, an Australian darter. Okay, we're nearly there. The inter-islander ferry is uh, pulling in now to Redland Bay. You see that up ahead there in the distance. Yeah, I've actually got to cut across that ferry terminal, so I'll just intercept that section when the ferry move, boat moves out, and then I'll go. Find somewhere we can get ashore. Looks like it, right about here.
I've just spotted a little kayak ramp. I'm going to head around to there. Okay, I'll just stop here in this nice little shady spot and have a little snack. It's a nice little spot, I'm just at the, the top of the golf course on this little track here. I'll leave this and I'll get going. This is the golf course. Yeah, the water's um, really, really warm here. Get back in and go. Oh. That was inelegant. Oh.
<laughs> Life wasn't meant to be easy. Okay, here we go. That's better. Let's go. Let's get this motor going. Okay, here we go. relaxing just cruising along like this out in the bay I'm getting close to the town of uh, Redland Bay now I'm pulling to the shore there stretch my legs and then we'll keep going I'm also um, getting close to the ferry terminal I'll just swing the camera around and you'll be able to see the ferry terminal just up there So that's the ferry terminal I've got to get around, um, but I'm just going to go ashore down here, have a little stretch of my legs, and then carry on. What a perfect afternoon to be doing this sort of thing. So we've got Maclay Island behind us there, um, I'll point that out, there's a little island between Maclay and here but the Maclay is the one behind that one there, the one with the houses on it, that's Maclay Island, further ahead is uh, North Stradbroke and further along is Pucci Mudlow. There's a nice little sandy beach up here I can see, I'll pull up on there. work 
working on the construction site over there and all that noise. Yeah, so we'll just pull over at this beach. I'm at a park at Redland Bay. And it's high tide. So I'm not going to hang around, I'm going to get back in, I'm going to keep going. Do that thing that Ryan done. 
Alright, let's go. Away we go. Now we got to get past the, um, the ferry terminal. I want to do that pretty quick, so I think I'll use the paddle and the motor when I get to that stage. There's one coming in now. I can see it. Hopefully, get up there in time. You can see it coming in. So that's the, uh, the vehicle ferry. Now my next obstacle is the uh, passenger ferry, further up. And then we're home hosed. How oh, awesome. Just here is the car park where you park to get the passenger ferry from Redland Bay. There's already ferry in there so I might actually wait until this ferry goes before I go because I don't know when it's going to go. I don't want it to go at the same time I go. I don't think they'd be very happy. A lot of people just waiting around. I think I will go. It doesn't look like it's ready to move just yet. Pretty much a race across here now. One motor, do your thing.
good. Got past that bit. <laughs> good, yourself? Oh, I've been having been fishing. Yeah. I don't know. You no, I've been doing any fishing. I've just been just been out paddling. Enjoy your day, mate. Yeah, you're right. Wow, calm water. Real calm. That's nice. Um, I really nearly reached my um, final destination. That wasn't a bad short little video of this area. Um, yeah, I'm going to head up here and I'm going to go for another swim. There's a swimming enclosure that I'll take this to. We'll go for swimming there. Perfect, perfect afternoon to be out on the bay. If you like my videos, um, consider hitting the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. You get a notification when I put a new video up. And uh, another thing, remember, do as I do. Don't go mad, go bush. I'm not going to say see you later yet because I'm going to go up here and have a swim and film that. So hang around just a bit longer and you'll see this nice little swimming enclosure. All the nice moored boats out here. Not a bad trip, hey, really. It's about three kilometers, about it's nearly four kilometers. Uh, I'll show you on Google Maps. This is the um, where I went from on Google Maps, just here. Um, not a bad little trip to do. You just got to be careful crossing those two ferry terminals, make sure there aren't any ferries coming because you know, uh, well, I don't have to explain why. So we're getting close to my destination now. You can't actually see it because of the reeds just here. I'll swing around. Um, just up in behind these reeds here is my little kayak boat ramp. It's the Redland Bay uh, kayak boat ramp. And it's just in behind me there. I'll swing back around again. Yes, yeah, so I'm heading into there and then I'll go to this little swimming hole up here. And uh, the motor's made it all the way, no problem whatsoever. She's still going strong, so that wasn't a drama. So just in over there, the sun's probably in your face, but just over there, that's the boat ramp. Just through those mangrovey trees there, that's a boat ramp. What I did was um, my wife and I um, left home, we both drove to here, and then we left her car here, we drove to the start point with the kayak, dumped all the gear, then I drove back to here with the trailer, and then drove her car back to the start point. So she's gone home, and um, when I get to here, my car with the trailer is already here, so I can load up and go home. That's how you have to do it when you're on your own or when you've got just two people. There's really no other way to do it. Yeah, so my Mazda is just parked up there, I hope. Yeah, I can see it parked in there. So where I'm headed now, it's just straight ahead, there's a little swimming enclosure. 
You want to head there and go for a swim. It looks like there's some people swimming in there already. I've got lots of videos just like this one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon and you'll get a notification when I put a new video up. See you later.